Hi Regen, I'm Angela Wren and I'm here today with Josie Hill. G'day Josie. Hello. We're standing in Josie's beautiful rice paper forest here. Isn't this gorgeous? Beautiful textures and colour bouncing through on this very, very fine, delicate paper. Josie, you want to tell us about something about the method you use to make this beautiful piece? Um, it's a type of a printmaking method. Mm -hmm. um, you lay the sheets down on, on a big trestle. Yep. Three, three sheets at a time. Um, in between each layer, I place um, objects, uh, sticks, stones, leaves, whatever I can find. Then the, wa the water is poured over the, the paper, mm -hmm. and then I pour on my colours, my inks, I use inks. Then I cover it with plastic, and then I weigh it down with a heavy object, mm -hmm. leave it for about a week, come back, take it all off. Sometimes it's a, it's a mess, <laughs> and other times it's a very exciting discovery. Now Josie, you've obviously been influenced by the forest situation here and the bush. Tell us a bit about your love of why you chose this particular style. Well, after living in uh, around Darwin mm -hmm. for the last 23 years, even though I was born here, I've lived up there and interacting with the bush up there and, and the forests up there, um, their trees are not real big, heavy trees. They're very spindly type of trees, which hence the format of the paper. Uh, that elongated uh, format that I've got here represents the forests of that region up there uh, and the colours that, that happened uh, all year round. It's not just your wet and your dry seasons. You have your, your um, burn-off seasons as well, which right. is this time of the year as well. And then you've got your, your coloured uh, flora up there. Um, they've, got, they've got a particular uh, bush up there that loses every leaf off its bush before it throws the flower. Gee, and it's a bright yellow flower. Gee, that would be called dead in my yard. <laughs> oh, no. and, and, and that's how you look at it. It looks like it's a dead twig. And then all of a sudden it gets a burst of yellow. So like these pieces behind you, these yellow pieces here would be sort of indicating... That's indicating the yellow in the bush. It's really beautiful. And, and then the other, you drive along and you're looking at, at a bush and it's got green leaves and you'll have this one bright orange leaf on it. And then then I see, then there's another another bush up there that does the same thing. They're all of the same family. It's called the K-pop bush up there. And, um, and that's where sometimes you have the reds come into it. Um, that red, yeah, bright red. So how do you, with people coming through and having a look at your installation here at the butcher shop, how have they reacted when they have come in and seen some of the work? Unusual. They haven't seen anything like this before. Um, they're very uh, taken with the fact that it's done on the rice paper the way, they, way it is. Everybody asks me, um, is it delicate to work with? And it's not. It's a very versatile um, form of... Um, apparatus to mm -hmm. do your work on. It's very tough, very resilient. And I, and I imagine that you know, nine out of ten times you'd be looking at stuff and you'd be able to pick and choose because there's just so many beautiful textures yeah. amongst it and you, you'd be very hard at times. And everybody sees something different, different in it and that's my purpose of the whole thing. I want everybody to have their own reaction to it. Sure. Different, individual, not the same feeling about something. You know. And how, throughout Regen, when people have come through and the little children, have you had little children come through? I've had one little one come through. And what was uh, His mum was a little bit frightened of letting him run through. And I said to her, I said, let him go. I said, that's what it's all about, run through it. And she said, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but um, that's the only little one that we've had come through. But um, most people, once they've been told that they can walk through it, they do. They step inside of it. And then once they've stepped inside of it, they realise what I'm, up, I'm, I'm about you know, having that special feeling of walking into into that colour. Maybe, what do you think the artist's understanding of colour and use of has meant to you? Oh, I think it really, I've been up to the top end and I, I really think that um, the colours really depict the colours of the top end um, and also the sea as well. 
it sort of the, the, the greens of the wet season, with the, you know, when there's rapid growth of plants, mm -hmm. and the dry season with the goldy colours. But also the sea. The sea up there is a lovely blue, but it's often a green colour as well. It's, I think it's it's a bit like the Arapura Sea, where it's sort of lovely glassy green as well. I think that the colours have really been depicted very well in this, Excellent. In this exhibition. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And with, with the process, you, you're telling us you're laying down different things in between paper and everything? Yes, I put down um, leaves, sticks, anything I can find, um, stones, even um, even sometimes things out of my kitchen cupboards <laughs> that I like the shape of, you know, that will create the shape that I'm looking for. Looks like you've got a bit of fern leaf going on in there. Yes, um, Darwin is renowned for growing Boston fern. Boston wow. fern is like a weed up there <laughs> and it becomes um, very handy for doing this type of thing and it's a very good f uh, uh, printing medium too. It, it, it really brings out beautiful that shape. I love the shape that it uh, forms. And Josie, what's on the horizon after Regen for you? Um, well, I've got a few things in mind where I can develop even further. Um, More rice paper? Yeah, maybe. Um, I'm sort of still twirling it around in my head at the moment. Um, but I've also got to get back out of the bush here and revitalise my spirit for this area right. first before I can I can um, bring the local bush into my, my think, psyche, you know. Are you thinking of travelling uh, which direction, Tipperborough, Menindee? Yeah, Tipper, I'd like to go up that way, Tipperborough and Camel's Corner and all that sort of thing and have a ground up in there. Have you thought of running any workshops Tipperborough-wise? No, I haven't. It's oh, never going to be on the spot. <laughs> you no, never know. You never know. Yeah. Thank you, Josie. Okay, thank you. Josie, the Regen Festival has been the first time run this year, and being a part of it, how do you feel about you know, it as a festival and an ongoing thing? I think it's a great idea, actually, and mm -hmm. I hope it continues. Um, it's, it, it'll bring tourism into, into the city as well, and it's, it's also helping... Um, artists that are struggling to become known. Excellent. That's very true. Mm -hmm. Broken Hill is a really big arts-based town and the Regen Festival has only done anything. One thing, it's made a lot of artists come out of their sheds, out of their studios and get in and have a go, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, on that note, thank you very much Josie Hill for letting us film your beautiful paper forest here. And thank you for visiting me. My pleasure. And that's us from Regen. Bye again. <laughs> <laughs>